Hey guys, Tech128 here today. I wanted to follow up on my Bluetooth not available mystery video. Several people have asked me if I've solved the Bluetooth problem with my MacBook Pro. I haven't had the problem since I reset the system management controller or SMC. So if you recall in my video, I mentioned this article on Apple's tech support site about resetting the system management controller and how that solves a lot of problems. Well, I had another problem with my Mac and I decided to reset the SMC. And since then, I have not had a problem with Bluetooth. That doesn't mean it isn't going to come back. Uh, so far, the only thing I've seen is once when I opened the lid, Bluetooth was somehow turned off and then uh, I was just able to turn it back on. So, so far, so good. So if we look on my article here on tech128.com, you'll find the link in the video description. So the original problem was that Bluetooth would mysteriously become not available. When you clicked on the Bluetooth icon in the menu bar, you would see Bluetooth not available and it would be grayed out. Now in this article, I put a link to the tech node or technical support page on apple.com about resetting the system management controller. So I'll open that here. Now they give you a bunch of list of steps you can try before resetting the SMC and I'm not going to go through that. If you want to give that a try, go ahead. And then finally they have the set of steps for resetting the SMC on all models of the MacBook Air, MacBook Late 2009, and MacBook Retina. And you'll notice this says here, this is for computers that have a non-removable battery. So it says, shut down the Mac, plug in the power cord, then use the built-in keyboard to press shift control option on the left side of the keyboard, and then press the power button at the same time. Release all keys, then press the power button again to turn on the Mac. And it says the LED on the MagSafe power adapters might change dates or temporarily turn off when you reset the SMC. Okay, so that's shift control option on the left side of the keyboard. So if we take a look at the keyboard layout, that's shift on the left side, control and option. And they want you to do this on the Mac keyboard. So if you're using a notebook, don't use the external keyboard, use your built-in keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that again to show you guys. So let me just pause and then I'll switch over to my camera. Okay, now I'm going to go through and reset the SMC on my MacBook Pro. Again, the directions are here. It's shut down the Mac, plug in the power cable, and then using the built-in keyboard, press shift control option on the left side of the keyboard, then press the power button at the same time, then release all keys and press the power button again to turn on the Mac. So shift control option on the left side and then the power button on the right side. Let's give this a try. Shut down the computer. All right, so shift control option and then the power button. I don't know if you noticed it, but the light on the power connector on the MagSafe adapter did change from orange to green momentarily. And we'll wait for this to boot. I don't know why, but for some reason, I think this MacBook Pro 2015 takes a really long time to boot. I upgraded to this computer from a 2011 MacBook Pro, and I had an SSD in there, and I feel like it booted faster. And... No peeking. And you'll see I rebooted the computer and my Bluetooth is on. Now, I don't know if that will solve your problem. It seems to have solved mine for now. Uh, subscribe to the channel and keep an eye open for updates. Thanks for watching.